Hello, welcome to my car. This is my 2011 Volvo V50. Uh, it's an electric one. By now the leaf motor is in and the zombie verter is kind of attached. I have done a lot of small things. It's a, quite a steep learning curve. Luckily there are uh, good videos online of, of Damien who has made the zombie verter. I had problems with the uh, motor not constantly working. Sometimes when you try to start it up it would work, sometimes it didn't. I think it was due to a bad battery connection, the 12 volt battery. I just put it on loosely and probably because of doing that there was not enough contact and there was not enough 12 volt power to drive the motor. I have also connected the uh, PDM to the battery, to the 12 volt battery, so that's now also connected. That I did that because I thought maybe that was one of the problems why it wasn't working. Uh, I've also started with the CAN communication. I have the CAN logs from Damien and I have put it into the car and as you can see it kind of worked but not exactly as in Damien his car. I also noticed that when I have run these scan logs, the uh, remote control from the doors does not work until the car goes to sleep. When I put a certain CAN code into the car, the power steering starts working. So I'm quite hopeful that it is going to work, but the CAN is still a thing I have to address. The drive shell started corroding. So I had them removed, painted, uh, reinstalled. The major thing I'm going to do right now is to get the leaf stack ready to charge. And hopefully I am going to get it all working. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. I have this setup made to be able to charge each of the 11 batteries individually. When charging two batteries at the same time with, the dual channel, with a dual channel charger, it blew up my connectors. There was quite a bit of fireworks, so here I replaced the two broken connectors or the two molten connectors. So I can start getting all the cells balanced and then the batteries charged to the same level. So I can use the leaf charger to get it all charged. Temperature sensors are working, the volt gauges are also working. Let's put it back together and then this job is done. I have this small charger, the power supply is broken, that's going to be fixed soon, hopefully. And then I can use this small charger to charge each battery through these ports. It's a balanced charger, so it will also balance the batteries. Uh, there are 11 batteries in it, so it will take a while to get them balanced. So I had for another project three of these BMS boards. These are flying ADC BMS boards from the Open Inverter Forum. They work perfectly. I have them all three separate. Uh, working now on each on one of the batteries so they are now balanced so the charger just has to charge the batteries to the same voltage but the cells are then all the same the case for this one is already printed with the 3d printer uh, it just has to go, uh, go on i have them all three on different can ids this one has can id 10, 20, 30 and as you can see I have now 10 over here and it's now running its balance program so it's now balancing the, the cells. Uh, it has to do a little bit uh, work still but it will get there. It will take me I think about a week 
maybe two weeks to get all the batteries balanced. Here I connect the can from the leaf stack to the can where the ice shunt is on, so I have one can channel free to connect to the car. Now let's tell the computer it has now the motor on can one. I had the old charge port from the Volvo removed. It's not the charge port which I use nowadays, it's the other side of the connector. So I used the leaf charge port to put in here. I make a new adapter plate to put the leaf charge port in. I use a sheet of aluminium to do this. Very often I had to put it inside the car to make sure it would fit. And the connector also has to be able to, uh, to get in. I had to remove one of the small legs from the I had to remove one of the legs because it was in the way with the lock actuator. I tapped some thread into the tabs so I could screw in the bolts. With two taps in place, I can put back the third leg and the third tap. It was a bit tricky to weld this because the stainless tube is very thin, but it worked out. Not the most pretty welds, but it'll work. That'll do the trick. And with some rattle can painting, it also looks pretty nice. Next is connecting the wires for the communication with the charger and the lock actuator. Now the high voltage needs to be in orange. I have this black tube that's original. I'm going to use some orange tape. There was orange tape around it but it fell off. So let's put some tape on it so we can have the charge wires, cables in a nice orange tube as it's supposed to be. First I have to put this one on here. Now it's time to extend the original leaf wires. I use my crimping press to make sure I have a good connection. On go three layers of heat shrink. It's heat shrink with some glue inside so there's no way it's going to slide off or anything like that. When the complete wire is in the last piece of tube, I also wrap it with orange tape. Now this one is done. I can put it on the car. The 
now I use a temporary solution with some tie wraps to get the cable in place. Next is to reconnect the cables to the leaf stack. First the crowd wire goes on. should be able to charge the car. Let's see what happens. So I have the cranny charger. I have the zombie verter in off mode. Let's connect the charger. Off mode is still off. Nothing is happening. You're doing it wrong. Back to the drawing board. I did something wrong. I was wondering why it wasn't charging. Maybe keeping the PDM connector unplugged didn't help. You're doing it wrong again. Nothing is happening. Uh, since Damien told me I was doing it wrong, I was looking at his videos. It gave me a lot of information, but not the final solution. I got his settings from the truck. That one has also a complete leaf stack. So I was looking at his parameters. And that was clarifying a few things. This is probably charge control, not for the CCS charger, but maybe a little bit more because Damien has his set on enable. So I also have it set on enable now. Three times is a charm, I hope. I heard the relays. Uh, off mode is still off. Refresh. It's charging. Finally, I've got it charging. That's a big relief. So now I can finally charge my batteries decent as soon as I have uh, these all balanced and at the same voltage. Because if I would charge it now to the set voltage, I would blow up a few of the batteries and a few are not full. So that would not be a very good idea. So I'm going to disconnect the charger. And we'll see what happens then. I heard the relays again. Charge mode. Charge mode is, uh, op mode is now off. Thanks Damien. That's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It has been taking me quite a lot of time to get this all done. That's due to the steep learning curve and if you keep screwing up the settings then yeah, it won't work as you could have seen on the charger. That has taken me several days. Yeah, I'm not a professional so it happens. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.